friends, it is good to be back. Today, I'm super excited to talk to you about a little known film that I've been dying to see for a few years now called You Are Not Alone. This is a film that I have followed since it was first announced on bloodydisgusting.com a few years ago. And finally, the other day, I found it available to stream on Amazon Prime. So I thought, fuck yes. I am doing this one for my return home to YouTube. This film, much like the retelling of Maniac, is a horror story told through the eyes of its main character. Though in this case, we follow a young girl named Natalie, who has come home from college for a 4th of July weekend, only to be stalked by a psychotic killer. A couple of things that this one does right off the bat that help separate it from Maniac, aside from gender and the role swaps, are a few technical tricks that I felt really added to the film's aesthetic. The first being a blinking animation whenever Natalie closes her eyes. They did this in an extremely realistic fashion, right down to the tiny slits of light that bleed through when you don't have your eyes completely closed. The lighting in this film was very dark and kept extremely realistic. They chose to have the actors look directly into the camera lens, which sold the POV angle extremely well. They took an exuberant amount of time setting up the characters and establishing the relationships and the situation, which I felt helped this film immensely. But it did slow things down quite a bit during the first act. I felt that all of the characters, even the background players, were very believable, for the most part anyway. There were one or two weak links, but... That's to be expected. I thought the choice to make the main character intoxicated was a very interesting idea. It added a whole nother layer to the suspense when everything started to go down. The film carried with it a very eerie and haunting feeling from start to finish. A lot of which was delivered by the haunting and ethereal score. The killer in this film was so simply creepy. The choice in mask and costume were perfect. The decision to use his deep, creepy voice at certain moments just added to the eeriness of the character. I do think that they did away with the mask and revealed the killer's face too quickly, but I guess I understand why they did it with the realism that they were striving for. I guess the one thing I can say about this film is that it takes its f***ing time with every little moment and really builds the tension well. Even though it was a handheld and shaky film, I found myself comparing it to The Shining in a lot of ways. I honestly don't understand how this one has been overlooked so much. From what I can tell, I don't even think it was given a physical release in the US, despite it being a US film. This is one of the most highly realistic POV films I have ever seen, and it does such an incredible job in its aim to build tension and keep you on the edge of your seat, especially given that it's an indie film. Overall, I found this to be a dark, creepy, and highly tense ride that brought you through to a strong and perfect conclusion. Therefore, I have to give You Are Not Alone an A+. Guys, if you have seen this film, let me know what you thought about it, and welcome back to Embrace the Film. This episode of ETF is brought to you by Audible.com, where you can now get a free audiobook and a 30-day free trial simply by using the link audibletrial.com slash embrace the film. With apps on Android, iOS, and Kindle, imagine access to over 180,000 titles literally at your fingertips. That's audibletrial.com slash embrace the film. In the early morning of July 4th, Natalie Wilner returned to her hometown, greeted by family and friends. That night, she was greeted by someone else. For Natalie, what started as an idyllic summer day became a living nightmare. If you've had a chance to see this flick, please feel free to let me know. It's just a quick scroll down there in that comment section below. If you like this video, maybe a little more than you can describe, shoot me a little thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you really enjoy my channel and you want to support it even more, consider checking out ETF on Patreon or Tippy, where every pledge and every tip brings more films to explore. But all jokes and rhymes aside, if you have any suggestions for films that you would like me to check out or that you would like to see reviewed on this channel, feel free to reach out to me here on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and I will catch you all next time. Thanks for watching!